What's up, guys? Lockout men here in the building. I'm in PA, up here at Breezewood, PA, at the Gateway Food Court, right here in TA. So, you guys like the calls. I really do appreciate that you guys like the calls. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off this. If you guys want to have any questions for me to ask these uh, recruiters, feel free to leave the comments so that I will ask them. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for me to make a call to a recruiter, leave that in the comments below as well. Just let me know. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I will try to get it for you. Like this suggestion right here. Uh, <laughs> so in the last uh, video, uh, this uh, young lady, uh, Leticia, I believe that's your name, Leticia. She asked, what about Boyd, or not Boyd, because I already did Boyd Bros, but she wanna know what about Boyo and Valley Transportation? I told her, I was like, well, you know, I haven't done those yet. So she, you know, she asked me to make a call. Now, Valley, I'm not too sure about, but Boyle, I, I see a lot of commercials for them. So I figured, hmm, let's, let's give Boyle a call and let's see what Boyle is all about. Now, before I call them, make sure you download driver pulse for your phone so that when you're looking for a job or a trucking job or something like that, uh, you can just type in the information and it just send out the information and all the trucking companies will come knocking at your door. You don't even have to do no work, no, no, no nothing. You don't have to do all of that. Uh, the application, you just fill it out one time and it's already saved. So whenever you connect with a, a trucking company that you like, you just click on that and send the application right to them. Driver post, make sure you pick it up. This is not a sponsored video by them. I just like them, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't have it, grab it. All right, so today's call is going to be to Boyd Transportation and I've seen a lot of their commercials on YouTube, on Facebook. They do have a Facebook page, so check it out. But I went to their website and they got their, their 2018 best fleet to drive for. Uh, well earned, guaranteed. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but they got well work, well live, and they got a whole bunch of testimonies. So, while I'm chilling, Let's find out what Boyd, because they deliver security, is all about. Hello, Laura. Today with Boyle Transportation. How may I help you today? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? I can. Okay. I just want to make sure you, you got good sound. Okay. Very good. How you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Uh, I'm in a I'm in a truck driving group on uh, Facebook. Uh, one of my, one of my, you know, one of my trucker buddies uh, mentioned, you know, Boyle Transportation, and thought that I should okay. give you, thought that I should give you guys a call to to check you out. So, okay. the, so the information that I get from you today, I will be able to take back to the group and, you know, to see if uh, if the company is good for them. That's okay. Sure. All right. And what kind of group is it? What, what kind of group is it on Facebook? Uh, it's a trucking group. It's a truck driving group. So we are a team only company. Okay. That's probably the most important information that you need to know. Right. Right. We only have team freight. We offer 
stable, predictable income in the form of a guaranteed weekly wage. Okay. Based on availability from Monday through Saturday. Okay. Anything that you do on Sunday is extra on top of that. Okay. And we haul exclusively for the military and the pharmaceutical industries. So we do require hazmat and tanker endorsement. Okay. Passport and TWIC cards. Now the TWIC card is for to get on the, uh, to get on the, ah, man, could you do that a little bit quieter? It, it <laughs> is a verifiable government document. Okay. And that's why we, we use it. Okay. We use it as a second form of identification that the government issues so that it makes it easier for us to, to enter certain locations. Locations, okay. Um, now you say this is a this is a team only uh, base. So you guys are looking for like like uh, father sons, uh, husband wives teams. It would not matter if they are related or married. It would just need to be a team team members that work well together. So we have male male teams. We have female female teams. We have male female teams. We have father-son teams. I don't think that we have like a mother-daughter team, but we have father-son teams. We have brother teams. So it would just need to be a working team relationship. Very good, very good. Um, a question from one of the members. Um, they said something about a contract payback. Is is there is is that something that you can answer for me, or do I need to go into detail? Contract payback would that mean like if you were getting out of a leased truck? Yes, that that would probably is. So, do you guys do leasing there? We do not lease any of our equipment. We're an asset-based company. Mm -hmm. That means that we have we own all of our tractors and trailers. Mm -hmm. So we do not use any leased drivers or equipment. Oh, okay, okay. We have no owner operators. Okay. What's the uh, all company equipment, company company drivers? Okay. What's the what's the minimum of uh, what's the minimum amount of years you guys accept to come on board? We like our drivers, our professional drivers, to have one year of verifiable over the road experience. Mm -hmm. Would you? And they also have to have the hazmat and tanker, and and we require the passport and and swift card. Okay, I was just about to ask about that since you mentioned that. Uh, what if they don't have it? Would you guys be able to help them get it, or they have to have it before they come in with you guys? We would like them to be in process, at least. What would happen is if they were to be hired, they would if they kept the receipts for getting the hazmat twig or the passport card mm -hmm. passport card is 55 dollars. the passport book if you're gonna it only works on sea or land so if you're gonna fly internationally you want a passport book but we cover the cost of the passport card because that's what we would need because we do we do deliver into canada mm -hmm. So if they get the receipts for their passport card and their trip card and their has that fingerprints, we would, if they were to be hired, then we would reimburse that cost at orientation. Okay, okay. So if they kept their receipts, they added their hazmat, TWIC, and passport card, if they kept the receipts, then if we were to hire them at orientation, they would then get reimbursed at orientation. Very good. What's, what's the higher areas? What's, what's your higher areas? Basically, it's mostly east of the Mississippi, south of Michigan. We don't we don't really hire into Michigan, but we hire in Illinois, southern Wisconsin, all the way down to Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Any and up into Maine. Anything out of Ohio? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so anything east of the Mississippi, south of Michigan, 
Okay. So Ohio is south of Michigan. Is of we course. Have, we have a lot of availability in Mich- in, in Ohio. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, we, we, go- most of our teams do go out three to four weeks at a time. You earn two days off for every week that you're out. Okay. Okay. Is there a sign-on bonus, and if so, how much it is, and how is it paid out? We offer an orientation pay. Okay. So instead of a bonus, bonuses are taxed at 40%. We offer an orientation pay. Okay. It is $2,500 per driver, so $5,000 to the team. Mm -hmm. That $2,500 is paid out in two increments. The first one is paid the week after orientation, the Friday after orientation, and the following half of it is paid the week after that. And then the Friday after that is when your first full week of work, your guaranteed wage would kick in. Did that make sense? That makes plenty so of the sense. First, okay, yes. First Friday, you don't get any, any money. Second, the, the second Friday after your first full week of work, you get the first half, the second half the following Friday, and then the following Friday after that, you get your first guaranteed wage week. Okay, okay. All right, now since uh, now since this is dealing with a with a lot of security, what's the uh, pre-employment requirements for drug testing? Do you guys do hair follicles and all that? That we do do drug and alcohol testing, but not hair follicle. Okay, okay. Uh, usually, I would ask, what's your policies on felons? But since you guys by the sounds of it you guys deal with a lot of high security so we do would you consider bringing the all, fi- of our, all of our all of our professional drivers have to pass a secret background check mm-hmm. part of that one of the things that and they have to pass it to be able to be hired with with oil at least at this point right so part of that one of the things that would prevent someone from getting that background check path mm-hmm. are bankruptcies depending on the circumstances so if your kid gets sick or if your parents get sick and you have to take care of them that's one thing but it's another thing if you just like shoes okay mm-hmm. and have to file for bankruptcy because you overspent your your credit felonies if they if it's convicted and they served any time over a year usually is going to and depending on how long it's been since they had the felony and they were in jail and all that kind of stuff so that those things would would prevent them from getting that dod background check and in some cases depending on how long it's been since they had the crime occurred everybody has scars you know so if they somebody got mixed up in drugs when they were 18, you know, and they're 26 now, you know, it's been a long time, they didn't serve any time, you know, those kinds of things, it would depend on whether they could pass the DOD background check. And if they could pass the DOD background check, even if they had a felony, we would work with them, depending on how long it's been since the felony happened, and how long it's been since they, they served time. So it's, it's on a case-by-case basis, it's not necessarily something that would prevent us from hiring them okay, okay but it would depend on the severity what the, what the the cause the causes were what the circumstances were how long it's been since since they they had the okay the crime. that's some good information okay. about uh about felonies a lot of a lot of companies and I, I i appreciate you breaking it down for me because a lot of companies usually just say well it's on a case by case basis but being that you're a high a high value high security type uh, transportation company. I appreciate you breaking that down for uh, for yeah, the uh, you know, it, There are a lot of different factors, and everybody things happen in everybody's lives, you know, and we understand that. But especially when they're doing more than a year time, if it's more than a year, then you're probably not going to get the DOT background check, depending on what it was. Okay. So that is one of our requirements to be able to pass that and. You know, we could we could try and see if it see if it works. Okay, okay. Orientation, where is it held at? In Boston. It's uh, Billerica, Massachusetts, but it's near Boston. Okay, okay. Uh, we, we we pay we pay for a flight for you to stay in the hotel, and it's five days. 
Okay. Now the hotel stay is is I'm there by myself or do I got to shack up with somebody? If you are a male male team, you would get your own room. Okay. But a uh, female then, if you oh. if it depends on whether you're a couple or not, really. Oh, okay. If okay. you if you're if you're a couple, then you would get just one room. Okay. If you're not a couple and you're a male female, I mean, you'd have to let me know. Right. I would get you two rooms. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you know, the other question I was going to ask you if you forced the team, <laughs> but you already mentioned that this is a team-based company, so I don't have to ask that yes. question. <laughs> yeah, we only hire teams. Most of the time we don't build teams. I'm open to it, but it's really hard to build a team because it's a unique relationship, and it's better if you know the person, you know that you have the same goals, you know right. that you have the same work ethic. Right. Those kinds of things are really important. You're, you're the same expectation of home time. Right. Your work ethic is really important because if one driver wants to drive and the other driver doesn't want to drive or, you know, it's, one's really likes to work and the other one's really lazy, you know, it's right. work because then there's, you know, you, ha you, ha you get, you get, you feel bad about the other person. I got it. I got it. I got to give it to work. you. I got to give it to you. You're, you're a recruiter that, that gets it. I, I like that. Because I used to be a driver. <laughs> I like that. You're a recruiter that gets it because like a lot of, a yeah. lot of, a lot of mega carriers, they, 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 they like to, to build a team and you, you know, you will get this person that, that don't have the same drive as you do. You know what I'm right. saying? So yeah, right. you're a recruiter yeah. that gets it. Okay, okay, I'm, I, I yeah. like you, okay. Um, what's the... Um, and we... Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna tell you that we are a smallish company. We have 54 teams right now, you know, and we've been around for 48 years. So we're not a new company. But we still are small. It's still it's still family owned. Mm -hmm. The the presidents of the company, the owners of the company, are brothers. Mm -hmm. Their father started. Just hold, hold on. One, I have to put I have to put my wings in. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so our the owners the owner's father started the company 48 years ago. So we all are a small company still, but it's still family owned. And the owners are in the office every day. And when you come in, they'll actually come out of their office and greet you. It's, it's really nice because you don't find that very often anymore in a, in, a, in a company, in a trucking company, where you can actually talk to the owners and you know, know that you're not just a number. Right, okay. Per diem. We do not offer per diem at this time. Because of the change in, in, in taxation rules, that may change in the future, but at this time we do not offer per diem. Okay, okay. Uh, how about breakdown pay, detention pay, and layovers? So we compensate by, with the minimum guaranteed wage. So you're getting compensated no matter whether you're broken down or not, no matter whether you get stuck in the, in the snow or not. Mm -hmm. So you're getting that guaranteed minimum wage no matter what. And that's one of the reasons why we do that, so that our, our drivers are paid for their time instead of by the mile. Okay, so y'all so don't have a cent per mile there. So what's the guarantee? That is correct. What's the guaranteed minimum? The guaranteed minimum is 15.40 per driver per week as long as they're available to work Monday through Saturday. Okay. Anything that you do on Sunday is extra on top of that. Okay, okay. Uh, do you guys offer pay advances for drivers that need it? Probably not. You get paid every week. Okay. I haven't heard that that's something that we do do, so I'm not totally sure about that, but I would have to say probably not. Okay, okay. What benefits do you guys offer? Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts for the medical. We have Dental Blue for the dental and Eye Med for the eye. All right. What's the what's the percentage uh, percentage between you and the company? I mean, you and the driver pay. The company covers. The company 
covers like 60%, I think, of the the payment for the, the insurance. Okay. And and then the, the driver covers the other the other. Okay, I guess. Of it. You know what? I, I think, I think you, that you know what? Breaks down. You know what? I I probably miss I miss question that. So I guess what I should have asked is how much the driver got to pay a week for the for the okay. for that. So it depends on your plan. Mm-hmm. But the driver for if you get the mid range plan, which covers a little bit more and isn't that much more expensive, it's one ninety one a month broken down into two different payments we take the the payout the first two weeks of the of the month okay okay all right cool uh what about uh can you talk a little bit about home time policy the teams professional driver teams earn two days off for every week that they're out okay okay What's the maximum amount of days uh, they can uh, they can take off? They only should take off more than two weeks at a time. All right. Now, instead of saying rider policy because you guys is doing teams, what about pets? Do you do you uh, allow pets? Anything below twenty pounds. Okay. Is Except snakes and birds. Okay. Okay. So, cats and cats and dogs below twenty pounds. Okay. Uh, is there any force dispatch there to NYC or California? Yes. Okay. We is, do deliver to JFK. We do give a little bit extra. There's a little bit of a bonus if you go to the five boroughs. Okay. But we do go to JFK with some regularity. Mm-hmm. And uh, the professional drivers are expected to do whatever dispatch they're given. Gotcha. But again, you're paid, you're, paid, you're paid for your time instead of by the mile. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's right? cool. So you're being compensated no matter whether you're in traffic or at JFK, you know, going to JFK or not. You're getting the same amount of, getting, you're still getting compensated, you're not losing any money. All right, what's... Because you're getting stuck in traffic or whatever. Now, being that this is a security, is, is this more so, is this more uh, live loads, live unloads than dropping hooks? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So if the if the team decides to quit, or if the team decides to that you know that this is not a good fit for them, which by the sounds of it, I wouldn't imagine why. But um, <laughs> but um, what's the what's the policy for turning into trucks? You have to deliver it to wherever they need you to deliver it to. Would they have to be under the Would they have to be under a load to do that, or can you they just? Never, no, you would never be under a load to turn it on a truck. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. A uh, few more questions. Um, what's the what What equipments do you guys offer? We run Saint Leonard Cascadias with all automatics. And they have side marker cameras and forward facing cameras. Yeah, a lot of a lot of drivers is kinda it's kinda leery on the forward facing cameras. And Yeah. So they're incident based and we use a third party we use a third party monitoring system. They it's okay, so the forward facing camera is incident based. So Say you have a hard baking incident, it captures the video. Right. Sends it to the third party carrier. The third party carrier then reviews it to decide whether it's an actionable offense or not. Right. Once they determine that, then it goes to our safety manager who re- reviews it again. Right. And then if he decides that it's a coachable event, then that's what he does. Or if it's something that he thinks that is not something that should be uh, uh, given points, then he would just remove it from your record. Okay, okay. Uh, comfort, what, what amenities do you guys offer inside the trucks? We have inverters and refrigerators mm-hmm. and XM and TV. Okay, okay, okay. And um, last two questions. What's the truck governing that? It's governed at 
65 with the ability to pass at 70. Okay. And last but not least, what can they take the truck home on their home time? That is preferable that they do take their truck home at home during home time. If they have a place to park it, it has to be it has to be secure parking area. So that means that it has to be either at their home with the tractor trailer. They would never go home with just the tractor and leave the trailer at a truck stop. Okay. Or secure parking would be with behind a fence that's locked or has a it has to have twenty four hour access. Okay. So either locked with a lock or a keypad or some something like that or a security guard. And cameras are preferred. Okay. Okay. Well what's your name again? Laura. Laura, thank you very much for taking the time to uh to uh, talk about Boyle. I'm, I'm pronouncing the name right, Boyle, right? You are, you All are, right. yeah. Thank you for taking the time for talk about Boyle Transportation. What is the number one reason for team drivers to come on with your company? Stable, predictable income. Okay, okay. All right, cool, awesome. You know, our, we, we also are, we, we, won, we won several safety awards last year. So safety is really important to oil, and that's one of the one of the good things about us. We our on guard scores are really really low, it's uh, fleet wide. So that's another another thing. But yeah, having stable predictable income is the most important thing I think for most drivers. All right, cool, cool. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. My name is Lashawn, but I am known I am known by lockout men. So the call, you know, so I make I, I make the, you know, I make the uh, calls to to these companies that and ask the questions that some drivers may may. Uh, how can I say may be intimidating in asking, So I take the information back that I get from from the guys and relay it to them. And then they'll take they'll take that information and say, oh, OK, well, I like Boyle or. I like such and such, and then I'll just give them your information, and they'll call you up so you can get the, so you can get the, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 credit, I guess, what you guys get. Um, but okay, I, so I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm the only recruiter, so it oh, doesn't, okay, it doesn't matter who they talk to, because they gotta talk to, they gotta go through me anyway. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, Laura, uh, Laura, Laura. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate the time. Thank you, LaShawn. You have a great day. You're very welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was just, I, I'm going, I missed a couple calls and I just, I thought you were one of my missed calls, but I just <laughs> talked to you. So have a great day, LaShawn. You too now. Okay. Bye now. That was her calling back. Man, Boyle Transportation, what do you guys think about that call? That was a beautiful call right there, especially the part where she, where she broke it down about the teams. See, a lot of companies don't get that. Don't get that. You know, you get with a company and they like to put you with another person that don't have that same mindset as you do. You know what I'm saying? You, you, they'll put you with a person that... I don't want to stay out. Uh, I want to go home. I don't want to grind. But think about it. You come in with your partner that already has the same motivation, same grind, same mindset as you do. So that's how a team is supposed to work, period. And in order to get on with Boyle, you got to have that person that's willing to, that's willing to rock out with you, man. Boyo Transportation, man, give them a call. Thanks to Laura for the information and thanks to Leticia for the suggestion. If you guys have any questions that you want me to ask these recruiters, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions for me to call the recruiters, leave that in the comments below. Until then, I will talk to you guys, I will talk to you guys again with another Lockout Men Mates the Call video. Who am I going to call next? <laughs>